guest Steve Butter fan TV. I'm at the Longlands Club for a very special evening tonight for Bam Bam's tribute night. I have one of the guests with me, the magnificent, the legend, Ron Atkinson. Ron, <laughs> honestly, it's quite an honour. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you very much. Certainly for that build-up, yeah. <laughs> That's terrific. Yeah, it's good. Um, got one or two fond memories of Middlesbrough. Um, one or two... Oh, fun memories. I can I can remember being here. I played in a game at Ayrson Park one night that they had to win to go up, and they won. They beat us. I think John O'Rourke had a hat trick. Beat us four nothing. There was about forty thousand crammed into Ayrson, and that got them promotion. But in a funny way, um, it worked for us because it was between them and Watford. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll bet money. If, if, the, if these go up, we'll go up above Watford next season. That's exactly what happened. Ron, like you say, as a manager, you've had a colourful career. Like you say, West Brom, I remember watching your team in the 70s, West Brom, with your Cunninghams and your Regis. What, what was that like at, at that time? Brilliant. Ironically enough, you know, my first game was here against Middlesbrough. They beat us one nothing. I think, uh, was it Billy Ashcroft? Billy I, think, Billy, yeah. I, think he got, I think he got the goal. They beat us one nothing. Um... Um, but then, you know, we, we just set off after that for the next two and a half, three years. It, it was terrific. You know, we had, a, we had a, I think at the time we were probably everybody's, if you like, second favourite team because we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't know the meaning of defence. We had two good centre-halves and a decent goalie. Everybody else was ordered to just go forward. How good was Laurie Cunningham, Ron? Laurie Cunningham, I'll I tell you the nearest I've seen to Laurie Cunningham was... Um, Thierry Henry. He was similar to Thierry Henry. I mean, Thierry Henry did it over a longer period of time. But um, Laurie, for that, for the one year when we, I think we would have won the league, but for the big freeze up, um, I've always said the best player I've ever had is Robbo. But that season, Laurie played as well as him. You know, Laurie was. He could actually. I used to say to him, he could run on snow and not make an indent, and it was brilliant. Man United, what was it like going to that institution? It's, it's absolutely massive, Ron, and you've been part of it. And like you say, the players you took there, Brian Robson, how good was he? Obviously, we ended up with him here at the Borough, which was an honour. He, he's turned this club into a, you know, give us well status, practically. Oh, that's some fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, once again, ironically enough, my first win for United was at Middlesbrough, at Ayrson Park. I remember Murdoch... Bobby Murdoch, when Bobby Murdoch playing against us, and um, I'm not sure if Big Jack was manager then. Big Jack might have still been. Uh, no, was it John Neal? It might, might have been. Yeah, yeah. Like you say, about 77, 78. Yeah, yeah. John Neal came yeah, in about probably, 78. Probably was John Neal, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the start. And then, like you say, I took uh, I took Remy Moses and Robbo from West Brom. And people said, you took out two best players. I said, I didn't, because if I had, I'd have taken Cyril Regis as well and Derek Statham. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Robbo came. And I'll tell you what happened. Sir Matt, who was brilliant. Sir Matt was, a, he, he never gave me one moment. You know, you hear problems about experienced managers working at the club and do they interfere. Sir Matt was brilliant. But he actually resigned over Robbo coming. Not for any other reason. He said, I can't now come to terms with the prices being bandied about. Now, I just wonder what he might think now if he'd have seen, like, Pogba, yeah. who didn't play anywhere near as well as Robbo ever did, you know. But uh, I said to the board of directors when we signed Robbo, I said, it's not even a gamble, this. I said, you're buying pure gold. And uh, very quickly the fee was forgotten, and two years later they're all moaning when Ju Juve offered twice as much for him and we turned it down. If he hadn't have been injured as much, Ron, do you think you would have pushed Liverpool further and won a league title during your time? We'd have definitely. We had two great chances to win it, and on both occasions, he, he got badly injured. On both occasions. Both, ironically enough, playing for England. Um, the first when we, we got up to a flyer, and then he, he was playing against... I remember the game, I think he was playing... I think there were Turkey he was playing against... Winning five nothing, and he chased the lost cause, and you're thinking, rub away, and then did that. Then he put his shoulder out. Um, I think it's a safe bet. I mean, people say you can't have a one-man team. 
I would say would Argentina have won the World Cup if they hadn't yeah. have had Maradona? Exactly. You know, um, that's that's what happens. But uh, you know, we and people forget. You know, when I went to United, we'd always finished above them. You know, at uh, West Brom. I mean, four, three years before I went, they got relegated. Yeah. Um, so uh, well, that was the first when I went to United. The first thing was let's make sure we're a European side. Let's make sure we're in Europe every year. And that's what we did. We never, I think, five years, we never finished outside the top four. You know, we top four every year, won the FA Cup a couple of times, League Cup, and uh, we got to a semi-final of a European thing. Now, nowadays, that's commonplace, or has been. But then, I mean, they, they, they had won, they'd won one trophy, I think, in 15 years. Yeah, I remember you, when you went to United, they hadn't been back in the first division for long. And... I think it was Tommy Docherty. You had to put the final nail into George's coffin, really, wasn't it? You know. <laughs> so many often they used to say to me, "How would you have handled George best?" You know, I said I'd have gone out with him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would have solved it? <laughs> no, but we had some fun. <laughs> I know Bestie quite well, and he was brilliant. He was a great lad as well. Terrific yeah. lad. I mean, obviously he had a problem when he when he was drinking, but. Uh, which is most of the day from what yeah. I can gather, but um, no, and a phenomenal player. I play golf with kids and I say, you think Messi's a good player? You should have seen Bestie. Like you say, if it wasn't for George Best, I wouldn't obviously be watching football now because it's the way he played that got me into football. Oh, he was brilliant. And uh, he played for me. I used to have a charity team. We used to go and play Sundays. I used to get a few of the old players playing in our team and that. And best he played for some few, three or four occasions, yeah. yeah. It was good, good fun. What's it like, Ron, being the manager for people who've never experienced it? I haven't. What's it like being the manager of a team, of an FA Cup winner, being an FA Cup winner? Because obviously it doesn't seem to have that feel anymore. But back when you won it, it was absolutely Do you know massive. What? Do you know what? It drives me up the wall. I watched this week the Carabao, Carabao whatever, whatever cup they called, call it yeah. now. And there's teams that, that ain't won anything for years sticking in second string teams. And you're thinking, if I was the chairman, and I'd, I'd, I'd sack the manager. All right, if you want to make a couple of changes, fine. I, I know you have 25 men's squads now. We had sort of 15 men's yeah. squads. Uh, then you had to get the kids out of the reserves to play. But I cannot for the life of me. There was a ready-made thing, the League Cup. It was a great competition. I know I saw Middlesbrough playing a couple of yeah. finals in that. The FA Cup was arguably everybody's dream as a kid, yeah. as a fan, as a player and whatever. And they've completely devalued it. Yeah. And you know what I'd do? I'd give the fourth spot in the European Cup to the FA Cup winners. Yeah. You wouldn't see too many reserve teams playing in it then. Like you say, it's got to become special again, Ron. Like you say, from my era, your era, it was the biggest club, club competition in the world. It was. And, you know, we, all right, we talk about Champions League, the money for staying up and surviving and all that. I'm a great believer as well, you know. And I know it's happened a couple of times. But you get success in cups and it goes through into your league performances. You get the, you get the belief that, you you know, you can do these things. I mean... I might be talking out of turn here because Middlesbrough unfortunately got to finals and got relegated but they got relegated on a technicality didn't they? Yeah. Oh, been but, I yeah. know they, they'd have been better off not playing the last game yeah. Right Ron it's been a pleasure talking to you yeah. I hope you have a great night I'm sure we will Yeah. it's been a pleasure Ron thanks for coming on Borough Fan TV